Sony arguably had their best live event in history with the PS5 live reveal, and with that, many many games were shown. Among those were Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank, and Horizon Forbidden West. But one game stood out as a sleeper and that game is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Yes, the game with the adorable little creatures. When I saw the trailer was revealed, I really thought it was going to be a AAA title but it turned out to be done by a little indie studio, Ember Labs. Ember Labs is a studio of 16 formed by brothers Josh and Mike Greer. Kenna will be their first game developed. They usually make animated commercials for Coca-Cola and the MLB, but they are known for one thing in the gaming community, and that is Mahora's Mask. This was a little short film that was released in 2016, which is based on The Legend of Zelda Mahora's Mask that was released in 2000. And if you haven't seen it, it's incredible. The work that was put into that short is nothing short of amazing. The vibrant colors, the lighting, even the sound effects, it's virtually perfect. And you can see this in the Kenna trailer, it's nearly identical. And with the power of the new PS5, Kenna is going to be gorgeous, especially when the island begins to transition back from the darkness. Kenna Bridge of Spirits is about a girl who must save spirits and return an island to its majestic environment. According to the developers, you play as Kenna, She's a spirit guide who has traveled to this forgotten village and soon discovers that there are many trapped lingering spirits. This will seemingly lead to the emergence of a game's antagonist, with Michael Greer claiming. It becomes clear that there are larger forces at play who have sort of corrupted the environment and stopped things from moving on. So the story is a bit mysterious right now and all we know is that you ultimately have to get to know what happened to the spirits in their past life. But why is this island forgotten? Who took these souls and why? The game seems to be lighthearted and fun, but it apparently has a darker overall theme. While the game might look fairly innocuous, the title will have darker elements. I like the idea of having a darker overall tone. This will allow the game to be less linear in story and take the players on a roller coaster of a ride. For some reason, Moana comes to my mind when I saw the Kenna trailer. It has a lighthearted feel, but at the same time, darker tones. Moana has to save the dying island by getting the heart and goes through a crazy adventure that eventually leads her to Lalatai, the realm of monsters. You don't really see this coming in the story and it allows for a more complex storytelling and character growth. There are some similarities here and I hope that Ken will have many twists and turns that see the characters grow and become more when they had started. But what kind of game is Kenna going to be? Well, the developers described it as a story-driven action-adventure game that combines fast-paced combat with exploration and a really fun, charming companion mechanic where players are going around collecting forest creatures we call the Rot. Yes, those adorable creatures are called The Rot. I'm not sure there's a reason why this is, but it just seems like such a dark name for these creatures. The Rot play a pivotal role in the game. They are necessary for combat and the puzzles the game has. Quoting the dev, The Rot are key to every aspect of gameplay. They can be used in combat to augment abilities, they can be used to manipulate the environment, to carry things for you, and the more Rot you have, the stronger you're going to be and the more abilities you get to unlock. So collecting as many rot as possible seems to be the key to getting stronger and acquiring the best abilities. I wonder how many the max is because I can't imagine having 100 plus of these things follow us around. The only game I could think of that had a similar mechanic is Pikmin that could have inspired Ember Lab's decision to use these little guys. But Kenna will be able to handle her own. From the trailer we can see that she is very quick and she is very good with her staff. The staff appears to be able to be used as a magical bow as well. This will give players an easier and more importantly quicker ability to switch from range to melee attacks. We also saw that there's some magical abilities that Kenna can use. The trailer shows a shield type ability being used to block damage as well as an AoE type attack, but for now it appears to only be used to clear the darkness from the island in this clip. Also worth mentioning is an ability used to bring light when there is darkness. Kenna will most likely have many abilities at her disposal, but one area the devs wanted to focus on was her speed. With the gameplay, we really wanted to show off a bit of Kenna's mobility. So you see her running around and double jumping, which adds a lot to the fast paced combat. So while the rot will be important, if they can't be used for whatever reason, Kenna will be able to handle herself very well. The fast paced combat looks crisp and very entertaining. Mix this with the rot abilities and there should be many ways to complete challenges and fights. Kenna Bridge of Spirits could be a hidden gem from the reveal event. Ember Labs made a great statement for their game with the beautiful trailer we saw. The devs are aiming for a holiday 2020 drop on the PS4, PS5, and the Epic's Game Store. We will undoubtedly be getting more info in the coming months. If you want to keep up with the latest news, don't forget to sub. Let me know down in the comments below if you believe Kenna will be a sleeper hit this holiday. And until next time, peace.